Alright, I hope so. Let's see how it goes. Everybody move right. Ah, ah, there it is. All right. Everybody move left. Alright. Okay, stop. Alright, you have felt your first freeze. You use the logic part of your brain to figure out which is right and left. And so you move the wrong way. Right. Does it matter which way you move? A little bit. Alright, but not moving is definitely more long than moving to your left. If I'm a right-handed person, most of the time I would pivot off to my left all right, to get away from their dominant side. Here's an interesting fact. When you begin the monkey dance, you almost always become right-handed. You will throw the big right-handed bomb even if you're left-handed. It's weird. All right? It's a dominance dance when you get into it. Okay. So, when you step, you should step like this. Slide, baby, slide. All right. You should not step like this. 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 All right. Because your feet will entangle and you will end up like this. And then that's a different fight. All right. So all we want to do is just practice stepping. Don't let your feet come together. There should be a magic barrier that's as wide as your shoulders. Make a stance for me. Get your fighting stance. Let me see what you got. Okay. All right. Look around at everybody's feet. You must judge. Okay. Pretty good. I'm pretty excited. You guys rock. Feet are forward, see it? Okay? Everybody could run forward. Knees are bent. Abs are tight. Chin's tucked. Protect the throat. Armor's forward. Okay? Hands are up. For some. Okay? You're good to go. Now step forward towards me. Go. Some of you change stances. That's really bad, isn't it? You know why? Because in gun we're, we do this, but in fighting we do this. Alright? We have to keep the same foot in front. Put your armor towards him, engage your abs. But if you change stances and you're not hitting, you're wide open. We get one move each. That's all we get. No matter what your kung fu teacher told you, where you've got 37 death strikes and he dies, <laughs> if you get one, he gets one. No matter how fast you are. But if your one is do nothing or change stance, it's a bad move. So let's do this. Step, slide. Step, slide. Do the same thing forward. Step, slide. Step, slide. That's it. It's not very complicated. Move to your right. Move to your left. Ignore the things on the floor. Sometimes the terrain sucks. Sometimes, all right, two of you just had the egg. Shoes are different, aren't they? They tend to catch on the edges. All right? You need to get used to that. I'm sure you've had that on the street where you trip over your own feet. Boy, I know you have. I know. <laughs> I know I have. All right? So you get caught. So being able to move in footwear is really important. Some of you are probably regretting your choice of footwear right about now. All right? But what you wear is what you wear. It's very important. Uh, I will suggest not wearing patent leather shoes on the bottom, all right? Uh, I ended up at a bar fight as a bouncer coming in butt first because I had slippery shoes on. And somebody had spilled a beer on the linoleum floor, so here came three bouncers sliding underneath. I gotta say it worked. <laughs> Everybody ended up on the ground and it was over, all right? Okay, so you're in a good position. Now I want you to, as soon as you see me move, you step out of the way. If I'm not coming towards you, you don't have to do anything. Got it? Honey, you're going to want to get out. I